Alright, press V. Yeah, it's a gun. Yup. It's a pistol, okay? <laughs> okay, that's pretty clean. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that is clean, bro. On it. Oh, shoot! Oh, that scared me, bro. That scared me, bro. My heart. Alright, we back with another video. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showcasing every single stand in this best upcoming JoJo game, JoJo Chains of Fate 2. Before we get into the video, though, make sure you guys smash that like button if you haven't yet. Most importantly, subscribe and turn on all notifications if you happen to be new to the channel so you guys don't miss out on my latest content. But yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys end up enjoying this video because I really enjoyed making this video. And hopefully you guys end up checking out this game when it comes out tomorrow. It's coming out tomorrow, yes, sir. I'll be putting the link for this game in the description. So yeah, hopefully you guys end up checking it out. I highly suggest you guys do check it out. Because like I said, bro, I had a lot of fun making this video And also checking out the stance and playing the game itself And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's hop on the game And also, one more good thing, guys Your boy got his own exclusive code in this game The Salem 1 to 1 So uh, before I click skip, let me just uh, do something behind the scenes Alright, okay. click skip, go to code So when you first play this game, go to the code section and type this code out Sub to the Salem one to one. Make sure S is capital and the is capital and this S as well as capital. And uh, yeah, that's the code, guys. And I click enter. It's not working at the moment because I'm on the test server. But when the official game comes out, this code should work. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's hop on the game and start showcasing every single stand in this bad boy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be showcasing every stand in this game. We're going to be going by order, Star Platinum, the World, White Snake, so forth and so forth. Alright, so let's start off with Star Platinum. Let's get it. Alright, so this is how it looks like. So for every stand, you press Q to summon. Just want to get that out of the way. So this is how the stand looks like. Check it out, bro. Not bad, bro. Stand is looking clean. Alright, so that's the Star Platinum for y'all. So yeah, let's showcase the moves real quick. The most important part, you know what I mean? So I get back to you guys once I make it to the test dummies. Alright, we made it to the test dummy, so let me equip it real quick. So before I showcase it, let me just, you know, get this out of the way, bro. The sound effects in this game is mad clean, bro. I'm messing with the sound effects. I'm loving them. That's like one of my favorite features in this game is the sound effects. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Let me know what you guys think about the sound effects in the comment section. But me personally, bro, I'm messing with it. So yeah, with that being said, let's start off with the first move. The first move does 2.5 damage per tick which is not bad to be honest keep in mind in this game the barrage moves don't do that much damage so 2.5 per tick is really good bro so yeah moving on to the second move which is heavy strike that's 30 damage bro 30 damage per hit and the cooldown on it is not bad bro look at the cooldown i could use the move again already not bad bro all right moving on to the um, stand leap move so what this move does is basically boosts you up in the air. It's a great move to use to get out combos and to get away from your opponents. So yeah, that's Stanley for y'all. Moving on to the Judgment move. Judgment, okay, that's a cool name. So yeah, G to activate it. Alright, not bad. Oh! Alright! Okay! Okay! At first, I thought it was a decent move till he started going in with the Barrage, bro. That's a dope move, not gonna lie. He does 20 damage and then goes in with the Barrage and the Barrage does... 0.5 damage per tick which is not bad bro i'm messing with that move so far that's my favorite move out of the whole stand all right with that being said moving on to the star finger uh move so this move is not bad does 25 damage um per hit not per hit just does 25 damage Bruh. not bad bro the only thing that i don't like about this move is that the range on it is not that good and the cooldown on it it's all right it's not that bad but honestly heavy strikes cooldown is uh has a little bit less cooldown compared to the star finger and it does more damage so eh, this move is all right it's all right not bad 25 damage is not bad but it's all right all right moving on to the iggy throw all right iggy throw oh so you throw something i don't know what that is okay i'm gonna call it iggy so you throw iggy i don't know what an iggy is but you basically throw an iggy at your opponent and if you land it, it does 15 damage not bad bro that's pretty cool and the last move is low key broken so what the last move basically does is cold suck basically sucks your opponent towards you and it's a great move to use to suck your opponent towards you and then follow it up with a great combo like barrage or any move bro that's a great move that's low key broken and uh yeah guys that's um star planning for ya star platinum yes yeah, so look at it <laughs> all right moving on to the next stand wait before we move to the next stand i almost forgot let me uh unequip it and show you the sound effects it makes yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. 
<laughs> Bro, I love that sound effect. Let's do it again. One more. One more. Yeah. Yeti, yeah. yeti. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, next up is gonna be the world. Alright, let's select it real quick. Give it a second for the moves to load in. Alright, boom. So Q to summon it. Alright, that's a stand right there. Not bad. So let me show off this down real quick. So that's how this down looks like. Pretty clean. Alright, pretty clean. Alright, so let's start off with the first move. Let's go to a dummy real quick. Bro, the only thing I don't like about this game is how slow you move, bro. The character moves so slow. If there was like a sprint option, that would have been that would have been good. Alright, so let's start off with the barrage. Because one damage per take. Not as good as the other stand, the previous stand that we showcased. But the cooldown on the barrage is alright. I could use the barrage again already. Not bad. So the cooldown on it is basically has no cooldown. But the damage on is alright. One damage per tick, it's alright. Alright, moving on to the second move, heavy strike. Does 25 damage. So so far, damage wise, the previous stand is way better. So far. Alright, moving on to that third move, stand leap. Basically boosts you up to the sky like the previous stand. And it's a great move when you know you're trying to get away from combos or trying to get away from your opponent. It's gonna be a great move to use. Alright, moving on to time stop. So that move, the previous stand didn't have, and that's what makes this stand a bit better. It's time stop. Time stop is pretty open. So basically stops time, as most of you guys already know. And that's OP, bro. You could do whatever you feel like doing to your opponent while he can't do anything. He can't move or defend himself. So yeah, that's a pretty broken move. All right, moving on to the next move, rapid rush. All right. Oh my god. What was that, bro? Sound effects was clean. Damage was pretty op that's a lot of damage the effects on it and how it worked i love that move. pretty clean overall bro that move just got me by surprise uh moving on to the next move knife so what this move is uh basically allows you to throw knives at your opponent you don't have to be close to him you could throw it at him from a good amount of distance and it still lands check it out <laughs> yo not bad bro not bad and each knife does one damage just like the broad if you land a knife does one damage not bad all right moving on to the next move stop punch oh my god bro 40 damage all right we gotta do that again bro all right that move was op oh my god all right let's do that again one more time oh my god 40 damage and it basically kind of teleports you to your opponent but you gotta be close to him you can't be that far and it does 40 damage damn all right, moving on to the last move, Road Roller. All right, I'm on ABA. I'm about to show you guys the Road Roller move on ABA because for some reason, it wouldn't work on the Jojo Chains of Fate game. So the move functions the same way as the move in the Jojo Chains of Fate functions, the Road Roller move. So basically, it just spawns a Road Roller, and that's how it looks like. And it just falls from the sky and then lands on the on the ground, and then boom, it does mad damage. And yeah, it just functions the same way, bro. Same way, because I've seen someone else use it in the, in the what's it called? Jojo change the fake game, but for some reason I can't use it. But yeah, same move functions the same way. But the only difference is that the world roller and the Jojo change the fate doesn't look as good as the one in ABA, in my opinion. But other than that, bro, it doesn't really matter about detail. It just matters if the move works and how it works and how it functions. And honestly, it's the same thing, bro. Same thing as ABA. And that's a world roller move for you guys. And with that being said, let's hop back on to Jojo change the fake game. All right, moving on to third stand, White Snake. All right, let's equip it real quick. Give it a second for the moves to load. Boom, they loaded. Q to activate the stand yes sir that's the stand right there look at it check it out not bad bro. i'm messing with the stands bro they're looking pretty clean not bad all right so let's check out the barrage and see how much damage it does so this stands barrage does 0.6 per tick all right so that's pretty weak compared to the previous stands that we showed off their barrage does way more damage than this one but 0.6 there's no big difference but again there's still a difference 0.6 isn't as good as the previous stands so the barrage on the stands is not that good in my opinion. Alright, moving on to the next move, Heavy Strike. 25 damage and then has a overtime effect. 1 damage per tick. Not bad, bro. Okay, okay. I'm messing with that one. We gotta do it again. Alright, so 25 damage and then has overtime. For some reason, the overtime didn't work. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, where's the overtime damage at? Alright, that's mad weird. Alright, let's try it on another uh, dummy. Alright, so 1 damage per tick okay i don't know how much ticks it does but damn bro that's pretty good all right let's try it again all right not bad bro not bad Let me, I, okay i lost count i tried counting the ticks but yeah not worth it all right so it does 25 damage and then per tick one damage not bad all right moving on to that third move which is stand leap does the same as every other stand just boosts you up to this guy and it's gonna be a great move for you to use to get out of combos or to get away from your opponent all right moving on to the next move memory disc all right that's an interesting name oh my god 
Oh god, that was pretty dope. Alright, did 20 damage. I think it did more than that. I think it did 20 damage, but at the same time, I think it did take damage as well. I'm not really sure, so we're gonna have to use it again. Alright, 20 damage, and then it did another 20. So, was that 20 damage or two 20s right there? 40 damage. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comment section. I'm thinking it's 40 damage, bro. Bro, this move is Loki. It's Loki OP, bro. Hits different. No cap. Alright, moving on to the next move gunshot. So, yeah, it just shoots a gun. Okay. So he basically shoots a gun and every time you land the uh, bullet on your opponent does 3 damage. 3 damage per bullet. Not bad. Not bad. Is it a gun? Let me check. Let's go over here. Alright. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Oops. Alright. Alright. Press V. Yeah. It's a gun. Yup. It's a pistol. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's pretty clean. <laughs> Alright. Moving on to the last move. Stance steal. So uh, my opponent doesn't have a stand because he's a dummy. So I'm guessing that this one basically steals your opponent's stand and then you could use his stand, I guess. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, still does damage. So you could still use this move even though your opponent doesn't have a stand and does, I think, 30 damage. Then it has this cool effects. And I think if your opponent has a stand, it could steal the stand. I'm not really sure. I can't really, you know, confirm it because my opponent doesn't have a stand and I haven't used this move on an opponent who has a stand. So, yeah. Alright, moving on to the next stand, which is the fourth stand, Killer Queen. Let's get it. Alright, let's select it real quick. Wait for the move to load. And it should load any second now. Alright, boom, they loaded. Alright, cue to summon the stand. You already know the drill. Alright, not bad. I'm messing with the stand. This stand actually looks pretty clean, bro. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Alright, let's go to a dummy real quick and start testing the moves. So I'll get back to you guys once I make it to the dummies. Alright, we here. Now let's test out the first move, the barrage. See how much damage it does per take. 0.7. Alright, not bad, but not as good as the previous stands. It's better than one of the previous stands, which does 0.5 per tick, I think. Somewhere around there. But the other previous stands, they do way more. But again, 0.7 is not that bad. No big difference, but... It's not as good as the other ones. But yeah, moving on to the heavy strike. 25 damage. Okay, not bad. Alright, moving on to the stand leap. So I'm thinking that every stand has this move, stand leap. And it does the same thing. Just basically puts you up to the sky. And it's a great move to use to get away from your opponents or to get out of a combo, you could say. But yeah, moving on to the next move, primary bomb. Alright, not bad. Alright, 5 damage. What? Alright, the name sounds pretty dope and all. But the damage and what it does, eh, not that good. Alright, let's try it again. Wait, never mind. Oh! At first it did 5 damage, and then all of a sudden it just goes crazy, the move looks good and it does 25 damage. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, now it didn't do anything. Is this move glitch or something? That's what it's looking like. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, nothing's happening, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Mad weird. Alright, I'm gonna get mad close and use it one more time. If it doesn't work, then... Alright, it worked. And it did 5 damage like it did in the first time. Alright, let's get mad close again and see if it does more. Alright, 25 damage. So I believe you have to land it once. And the first time you land it, it's not as OP as the second time you land it. So that's pretty cool. Now see, if I land it again, it does 5 damage. Now if I use it one more time, it should be OP. Check it out. 25 damage. Alright, not bad. Now I get this move. Okay, not bad. Alright, moving on to the next move. Straight bomb. Let's get it. Straight bomb. 19 damage, not bad, bro. And the move looks good and all. Not bad, bro. Not bad. All right, moving on to the next move, coin toss. Okay. Oh, that is clean. Do the other coins explode? Let's try it again. Let's try to land all the coins on the dummy this time. Wow, none of them landed. None of them landed. All right, that's tough. My aim is trash. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, this time let's stand in a straight line. All right, aim forward. Boom, 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 oh, that is clean, bro. I'm messing with this move, alright? Moving on to the next move, Bite the Dust. Alright, I'm liking the name. Alright, that's 5 damage, and I think it functions the same way as the other move, which does a decent amount of damage, and the second time he lands it, uh, it does a good amount of damage. Yup, yup, functions the same way, I'm telling you, bro. So, this stand is kind of special, you could say. Some moves, the first time you use them, they're, they're not as good as the second time you use them. But as you can see, bro, the second time I used Bite the Dust, it went crazy, bro. I don't know how much damage it did it, but um, it did not did it. But, the hell? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how much damage it did, but uh, the way it functioned, that was pretty clean and dope. I'm messing with it. All right, moving on to the last move, Sheer Heart Attack. <laughs> Yo, I'm liking the sound effects. All right, I don't know what that is. What, what is it supposed to do, bro? Uh, I don't know. All right, you know what? Let's go to a dummy with full health. And use the move again and try to land it on a dummy this time. 
because I thought it would move to the dummy or something. I did not expect it to just spawn and stand there and not move. That's weird. All right, so I'll give it a second. The cooldown's taking a while, no cap. So this move must be OP or something. All right, all right, cooldown's yeah. over. What the hell? Nothing's happening, bro. All right, let's move the dummy to him real quick. Nothing is happening, boys. Nothing is happening. So what is this move supposed to do? I'm mad confused, bro. I didn't watch Jojo, by the way. If you guys haven't noticed yet. But, um, yeah, I don't know what this move is supposed to do. Let me know in the comment section what it's supposed to do. If it's glitch or not working or if I'm not using it properly. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, that sheer heart attack for y'all. Pretty bad. <laughs> because it just doesn't do anything. Alright, moving on to the next stand, King Crimson. Alright, give it a second to load, and let's head to the dummies. Alright, so Q to summon it. That's the stand right there. Let's get it. Alright, let's show it off real quick. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Alright, let's head to the dummies and start using the moves. Alright, first move, Barrage does one per tick. One damage per tick. Not bad. Alright, next move is Heavy Strike. 25 damage. Not bad. Stand Leap. Like I said, bro, every stand has this move, stand leap, and it functions the same way. It boosts you up in the air, and it's a great move to use to get out of combos and to get away from your opponents if you don't want to be close to them. All right, moving on to the next move. It just works. Oh, my God. It did 12 damage, I, I believe, about three times, and then it did 16 damage once. Wow. All right, moving on to the next move, chop. 20 damage. Okay. Okay, bro, the damage on the stand and the way the moves function is insane, bro. All right, and it has time stop too. I mean, time skip. Time skip. What does it do? All right, time skip is definitely not like time stop. It doesn't stop time. I believe it takes you to your opponent. Oh my god, that is clean. So it basically, just takes you to your opponent. Okay, okay, that is clean, bro. That is clean and broken, and the cooldown on it is not that much, bro. Oh my god, I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it, bro. Alright, moving on to the next move. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to use it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Alright. I don't know what that just did. It has a long cooldown, and I have no idea what that move does. Alright, moving on to the last move. Time erase. So I believe this move just takes you back to the spot you were in. Just because I didn't move spots, it just took me to the same spot I was in. And it could be a great move to use to get away from your opponent or combos, you could say. But yeah, let's use... Yep, this move doesn't do anything. I was about to say, let's use it again. And I did use it again and it didn't do anything. So yeah, I guess that's King Crimson. Alright, next up is going to be the Gold Experience. Alright, let's equip real quick. Give it a second for the moves to load. Should load any second now. Alright, load it. Cue to summon the stand. Alright, stand looks pretty decent. Not bad. Let me show it off real quick. Alright, not bad. Alright, with that being said, let's show off the moves. Alright, let's start off with brush. See how much damage it does per tick. One damage per tick. Alright, pretty decent. Not bad. Alright, moving on to the heavy strike move. Does 20 damage. Not bad, but pretty decent. Because the previous stands, they either do 25 damage or 30 damage with their heavy strike move. So, yeah, this move is pretty decent. 20 damage, pretty decent. Alright, moving on to the stand leap. Same move, yo, functions the same way as the stand leap move for the other stands. Alright, moving on to the next move, life shot. Okay, sounds pretty dope. I like the name of it. Oh, oh, doesn't do that much damage, 15 damage. But the way it functions, I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it. But the damage, yeah, when it comes to damage, this stand is not it, bro. Alright, moving on to the vine restraint move. Alright, let's see what it does. Okay, bro. The moves look cool and all, but damage. Damage is I. Alright, self heal. I believe this move just heals you up when you're low. I'm not low, so yeah, it didn't really heal me up. Alright, moving on to the last move. Life creation. Okay, I like the name. Let's see what it does. Oh. Oh. That is clean. The damage on it, 30. It's not a lot for the last move, but it's pretty good. 30 damage is pretty good. But the way it functions, I'm messing with it, bro. The moves are pretty cool, bro. But damage-wise, the stand is alright. Alright, with that being said, moving on to the next step. Alright, next up is the Magician Red Stand. Alright, let's equip it real quick. Give it a second for the moves to load. Alright, bump Q to activate the stand. Alright, ooh, I'm liking the stand. Let's show it off real quick. Oh, nice. Bro, the way the stand looks is dope, bro, in my opinion. Alright, let's check out the barrage, see how much damage it does. 
All right, give it a sec. All right, that's 0 0.8. Oh, the sound it makes. I'm messing with this stand, bro. I really am. The damage, though, is all right. 0 0.8, it's all right. All right, moving on to the heavy strike move. See how much damage that does? 25. Okay, that's pretty good. Better than the last stand we just showcased. All right, next up, stand leap. Same move as the uh, move that we got from the previous stands. The stand leap move does the same thing. Yep. All right, moving on to the crossfire hurricane special. Oh, I like the name. Okay. Oh, 13 damage three times. Not bad, bro. I really am liking this set. No cap. All right, next up, fire breathing. Oh, yo. 1.5 per tick. Yo, this stand hits different, y'all. No cap. And it's still attacking. Oh, my God. All right, next up is going to be burning. Barrage, burning barrage. Okay, all right, that did nothing. I think I have to be a little bit closer. I have to wait a minute to do this move again. The cooldown on it is crazy. All right, moving on to the next move, red bind, red bind. 15 damage and yo, it traps your opponent. Okay, that is clean. All right, moving on to the last move, crossfire hurricane. 15 damage. I expected it to be OP. Oh, I see. And now I know why it's not OP because the cooldown on it is basically nothing, bro. I could use it again. Check it out. That was fast. Okay, not bad. 15 damage and the cooldown on it is pretty good, bro. Not bad. All right. Now let's wait for the burning barrage cooldown to get away so I could use it again. This time I'll be super close. All right. Give it a second. All right. Let's use it. 15 damage. And that's the burning bar. Oh, that is the burning barrage, y'all. That is clean, bro. I'm messing with it. Yo, I'm not gonna cap, bro. I think this stand is Loki my favorite now. Like, from all of the stands I showcased, this one I'm messing with the most. Not because it does a lot of damage, just because the way it looks, the way the moves function. And just overall, bro, this stand I'm messing with, bro. Wow. Alright, moving on to the next Alright, next up, Echo Stand. Alright, give it a second to load. Name is pretty cool, I guess. Alright, cue to equip the stand. All right, it's not worked. Oh, never mind. It just worked. Ooh, okay. That was clean. Let's show it off real quick. Took a minute to uh, equip the stand for some reason. But yeah, that's the echo stand for y'all. And uh, yeah, let's use the barrage and see how much damage it does. 0 0.3 per tick. All right, that is complete trash. But the cooldown on it, it basically has no cooldown, bro. I could use it again. But 0 0.3, come on, bro. That's almost nothing. All right, moving on to the next move, Heavy Strike. Alright, I missed that, bruh. Alright, I'm gonna have to use it again. Alright, cooldown on it is decent, so I could use it again right now. 25, okay, that's not bad. 25, that is not bad. Alright, stand leap. Same things. Functions the same way as the other stands. Alright, moving on to the next move. Three freeze. Let's see what this move does. Oh. Oh, that is clean, bro. Okay. Okay, 1.8 per tick. How many ticks is that? Damn. Yeah, that move is dope. No cap. All right, moving on to the next move, air palm. All right, 20 damage. Okay, all right. Damage on um, this move is pretty decent. And the way it functions, not bad, not bad. All right, moving on to the next move, encouragement. Act 1. All right, pretty um, pretty weird name, I guess. Oh, all right, what did that do? I don't even know what that did. But the way my stand changed, that was pretty cool. I don't know what that move does, but that's encouragement. Act one for y'all. All right, moving on to the last move. Boom. Act two. That's the name of it. All right, it does 15 damage and it changes my stand. And uh, yeah, I think it does more, but I can't really tell you guys what else it does because testing it on a dummy, not a player. If I was testing it on a, on a player, I think it would have did more stuff and would have been just more better. But honestly, I don't think these moves are meant to be tested on dummies. So I can't really, you know, you can't really judge this stand until you use it on players. So yeah, this stand could be really good. Who knows? But so far, it's it's I it's I. But I feel like the encouragement act one and boom act two. I feel like if you use it against players, they could basically stun them. Or I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out once I use this or once you use it on an online player. All right, next stand is going to be the soft and wet stand. Bruh, the name though. <laughs> okay. All right, let's give it a second to load. All right, let's summon it real quick. See how this stand looks. Okay. Oh, that was pretty clean. Not in the cap. All right, let's show off the stand. All right, stand is not bad, bro. It actually looks pretty clean. All right, let's see how much the barrage does. See how much damage it does per tick. 
0.6 per tick. I definitely better than the last one, but 0.6 is pretty decent. It's not that good. But the cooldown on it is not bad, but I could use it again. Not bad. All right, moving on to the heavy strike move. 25 damage. All right, not bad. Stand leap functions the same way. No, actually, kind of functions different. It gives you that bubble with the star on it. That's pretty cool. All right. But other than that, it functions the same way as the other stand leap move on the, on the other stands. But yeah, moving on to the next move, Vision Steal. 10 damage, and I feel like if you use this move on a player, it could function different. Probably blur his vision or something. I'm not really sure. Alright, moving on to the next move, Prison Bubble. Alright, 9 damage, and it traps your opponent in a bubble with a star on it. That's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. Okay. Alright, moving on to the next move, Bubble Float. Oh, okay. Alright, so it does 7.5 damage once the bubble blows. And it does, I don't know how much damage it does when you first use the move, so we're gonna have to use it again. It does two separate damages. When the bubble blows, it does 7.5 damage, and when you first use it, it does a certain amount of damage, which I don't know. Let's see how much it does. 15 damage, yup. So not bad. And then the bubble blows, 7.5 damage. Not bad. Alright, moving on to the last move Bubble Field. Alright, let's see what this move is all about. Oops. Alright, bubble field. Oh. Oh, that is clean. Alright. Does no damage. What is this move supposed to do? I don't know what this move is supposed to do. It just summons bubbles. I don't know what the bubbles are supposed to do. But yeah, that's the final move on the stand. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for the soft and wet stand. <laughs> soft and wet. Alright, next stand is going to be the World Alternate Universe stand. Alright, I like the name, bro. Okay, nice name. Alright, let's summon it real quick. See how this bad boy looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. Okay, look at the stand. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, let's see how much the barrage does. Let's see the damage on it. Alright, it does one damage per tick. Alright, not bad. Now let's check out the heavy strike. 25 damage. Okay, not bad. Stand leap functions the same way as the stand leap move functions on the other stands. Alright. Alright, moving on to the next move. Time stop. Alright. Ooh, yo, that's mad loud to my ears, but the way it functions, I'm messing with this move. That's pretty cool, not bad. Alright, moving on to the next move, high speed kick. High speed kick, okay. Alright, 12 damage. Alright, not bad, bro, not bad. Alright, next move is gonna be knife. Let's see how much damage it does per knife. 5 damage per knife, not bad, bro. Alright, moving on to the next move, gunshot. Alright, shoot your opponent and it does 10 damage if it lands. Not bad, bro. Alright, moving on to that last move. Jerry can burn. Okay, interesting name. Okay, what does it do? It just spawns this, that's it. I think if you spawn this on a player and the player steps over, he could slip or something. I'm not really sure. He probably burns. I'm not really sure. But yeah, let's try to spawn it under the dummy. Let's move the dummy. On it. Oh shoot! Oh that scared me bro! That scared me bro my heart! Oh my god, that scared me y'all. That was mad loud. Alright, let's try it again. This time I'm gonna take off my headphones. Ah, uh, no mind, never mind that despawned. Alright, let's spawn it again. Alright, let's move this down. Alright, this time I don't have my headphones on, bro. That was mad loud, bro. Alright, that is clean, bro. That is clean, bro. Okay. I like this move, no cap. Just in case an opponent is like chasing you or something, you could just spawn it and then he steps over and boom, that stops him. Does a good amount of damage. Not a lot of damage, but a good amount of damage. But yeah, bro, I'm liking the stand. The stand is not bad. Alright, moving on to the next stand. Alright, next up is going to be, I don't even know how to pronounce that, so let's just get right into it. Alright, let's wait for the stand to load. I mean the moves. Alright, let's equip the stand real quick. Alright, stand looks pretty, okay. Uh, what kind of stand is this? First time seeing the stand. Alright, not bad. I mean, it looks... I don't know. I don't know how to describe this stand. It just looks blue. Yeah. Alright, let's see uh, how much damage the barrage does. 2.15. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of damage, bro. For the barrage. Alright, next up is the heavy strike. Let's see how much damage that does. 25. Alright, not bad. Alright, Stanley functions the same way. Yes, sir. As the other uh, stand leaps on the other stands. Alright, uh, moving on to the next move. I don't know how to pronounce that move. So, let's just use it. The G move. Alright, I think I had to be a little bit closer. Oh, never mind. Whoa. What just happened, bro? It did 30 damage. I don't know what just happened, but that was pretty cool, I guess. Alright, moving on to the team move with Blue Slash. Alright, not bad. 15 damage. Pretty decent. Alright, moving on to the V move. Sword Burst. 25 damage. Y'all, I'm liking the stand. Alright, moving on to the final move. Ice Attack. Okay. 
Okay, 25 damage is not a lot for the final move. But the way it freezes your opponent and 25 damage is I like 25 damage is pretty it's pretty good, bro. Not a lot, pretty good. But the way it freezes your opponent, bro. Damn, okay. Alright, I'm liking this stand. Alright, moving on to the next stand. Alright, moving on to the last stand. Tusk Act 4. Alright, finally we're at, we made it to the last stand. Alright, let's equip it real quick. That is the last stand. Looks pretty uh cool and weird at the same time bro all right let's let's just get right into it all right let's see how much uh damage the barrage does that's 2.5 all right not bad bro that's a lot of damage pretty good for the last stand all right moving on to the heavy strike move 20 damage that's pretty decent all right moving on to the next move glide oh glide i like this glide move bro okay i don't know how to pronounce the g move so let's just use it Alright, so it just freezes your opponent in place and then starts doing barrages on him and does 1.3 per tick and then does a good knockback, bro. Not bad, bro. I like that move. Okay, this stand I think is the strongest and OP stand in the game, bro, so far. Yup. Alright, moving on to the team move. Triple nail. Oh, 15 damage per tick. Alright, moving on to the next move, which is the V move black hole nail. Also, freezes your opponent in place and does 20 damage. Not bad, bro. Alright, moving on to the last move. Nail Punch. Ooh, 20 damage and I think it does more, but since I'm testing it on a dummy, I can't really tell what it fully does. But, yeah, that's the Tusk Act 4 for y'all, boys. Hopefully, you ended up enjoying this uh, All Stand Showcase video. And if you did, please smash that like button. Most importantly, subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on my latest content. And uh, yeah, with that being said, it's been your boy, Zone 21. Peace out. Hey.